Hello, one and all, welcome back to more Let's Play Okami. I am the Max Few Trades, and the last part we found the Sparrow Mafioso leader's kidnapped daughter who was being held captive by demons pretending to be people with knives. It was, it was very strange. <laughs> and uh, we uh, we learned ourselves some, a couple new cool powers. We. We, uh, we, 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 uh, helped Bamboo Man, uh, we found water in a hot spring, and, oh right, the entire main objective of what we're actually trying to accomplish, uh, we, <laughs> we found one of the canine warriors, but apparently he's decided to retire so that he can protect the hot springs, I guess, I guess the general area in its entirety, and we sort of consumed his powers, and now I guess we have it. And I can only assume that the next two dogs that we meet are probably going to do prob- You know, li li Excuse me, I appear to be tongue-tied today. <sighs> We're likely going to end up taking all of their powers too. I'm imagining it's going to be a bit of a pattern. We shall soon find out, however. As while I previously had absolutely no idea whatsoever on what I was supposed to do in this particular area about the next dog, our new water spout ability, conceivably, Possibly, I don't actually know for certain, might be the key we need to succeed and figure out how to, you know, progress. That's the hope, that's the plan, that's the, that's the assumption. We're about to find out if those are actually accurate, though. And as I slowly walk my way over, how are you guys doing? Doing okay? I hope so. You guys are important. And you should be happy. Okay, so... We know that the mark is right over yonder. First things first, give me that infinity stone. Oh, hey, I remember that. Now I don't have to buy one. Fantastic. Okay, so I know that the uh, general area is over here. So what I can do now is I can make water go to where I paint it. And I can make water spouts go up. The question is... This is the famous Deep Abyss. Yes, indeed. The, the million dollar question is, where is one of the spots for a geyser? And on top of that, how precisely would a geyser help me specifically in this particular situation? These I do not have answers for. But I will gladly take any and all treasure that the game decides to throw my way. Thank you very much. But I would also very much appreciate progress. P -p 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 progress. I'm trying to think of the best way to say that in a in a way that gets the point across, and I can't really come up with one. What about you? You got anything to say? Hi there, Wolfie. Have you seen my son? He's been obsessed with fishing lately. But I'm worried that he's not respecting nature like he should. If he's not careful, uh, he could get himself in all kinds of trouble. I suppose that's feasible. Let's see. That guy sure does move around a lot. Or are there just a bunch of shopkeeps that look exactly like them? It's possible. All right, I guess I might as well ask. Do you have new dialogue? The water in the deep abyss is murky. My fisherman's intuition, yep. The legendary fish, Woopor, who apparently ate the, not the, they didn't eat the moon. He ate the moon's reflection, which I'm not 100% sure how that works. Let's see. That's not a power spot, though. That's just... It's just your standard run-of-the-mill waterfall. If there's any sort of mystical, magical connotations to be had, I'm not immediately aware of them. Hmm. Already been over yonder. No sense in doing any of that. Although, here are some, here are some woodland critters. Would you like some, some various herb? I imagine that probably involves, like, it's not just herbs and spices, because that doesn't seem like the type of thing you would feed deer. I imagine there's also probably just foliage in general. That would make so much more sense. Now, I sure would prefer, if possible, to figure this out without having to consult the Bone Woman, because as we've learned before, she is not very good at actually telling me stuff. But, at the same time... Uh, I suppose it's possible this time will be more useful. Last time she said I had to find the sparrow and, and, and whatnot. 
So I guess that did technically point me in the right direction. So I, I, I guess that's a possibility. And I certainly could use a bit of direction, even if it's the slightest of nudges, so... I'll take it. But if it ends up not being helpful... Eh! Then I'm probably not going to use them again. All right. Okay, hey, could you maybe not? Oh, Lordy Lou, there's another one. All right. Oh, you're just straight up dead. Oh, that is very unfortunate. You don't even get a chance to, ah, uh, I was waiting for you to block with your guitar, but you don't even get a chance to kill you before you can do it. That is, yeah, there's all kinds of dark. Whew. sucks to be those guys in particular. Well, all right. Let's go consult, co consult, oh wait, hang on a second. Maybe we don't consult. Maybe, we're probably still going to have to consult, but let's start with this. Now I am up here. Uh, that's uh, not exactly what I was going for. Okay, yep, there's, there is a treasure up there and I was just kinda, ah, there we go, okay. What you got? And uh, that's just money. I, I, I guess that's good. Well, <laughs> it's it's something, I guess. Oh, hang on, hang on. Derpa derpa do. I can take care of all this business now. If noth if absolutely nothing else, I do have that much going for me. And okay, if you'd be so kind as to. Okay. Uh, no, that did not work at all. <laughs> That did not work at all. If you'd be so kind. Thank you. All right, maybe this stuff will be good. That's some bull horns. Some bull honky, if you ask me. Not not great, not useful. Here's one of them stray beads. It's potentially useful, depending on the results. And the Holy Bone M. It's a super snack, so that's pretty cool. Hmm. All right. Let's talk to the bone lady. I know I've got the money. This is your chance, lady. If, you, if, if your advice ultimately leads me down to the promised land, then fine. I'll concede that your powers are useful. Otherwise, not so much. Wah! It's coming to me, I can see it. Okay. The eight spirits are eager to undo the evil to block the wind. Aid a troubled girl near a holy spring in the forest. A proud canine spirit shall reappear. Okay, so... Not exactly new information, but okay. I, I, so I, I guess I did forget about the fact that the kid did mention that there's a, a lady at a spring that I guess should be spoken to. However, that does not help the fact that I don't know where this is exactly. In the forest. Literally everything we've been exposed to up to this point has pretty much felt like a forest in every regard to me. To the best of my knowledge, we've never actually left the forest. It's always just been the forest. Eh, okay. Gotta need you to not. And then you! There we go. Then we cut them open. Boom. Get ourselves some bonus stuffs. I've gotten the rhythm. I've gotten the rhythm down, peoples. So that's pretty good. So... Real question of the day, and the week, and the month, and the year, and the decade, and the century. Is where is this lady at this spring, at this forest that I'm supposed to go to? That's basically the mystery. Okay, then. Off I go to look. Okay, well, I found a stray bead. <laughs> not not what I was looking for, but also feels like the type of thing I should point out that I found. Yeah. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, th all right. Well, that one was uh, that was surprisingly easier than I thought. My, my bad. A rather pretentious name, but probably not far off the mark. <laughs> uh, yo, hello. Hum, the water here is so lovely and cool. Now, time to get to work. 
Here's the barrel. Hmm? Well, lucky here, it's Cushy. What you up to here? Oh, it's you. Snowy and Isu. Oh, you're the lady from that, the first village. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was you at first. I'm here making preparations for the annual Kamiki Festival. I've come to get water for the holy sake we offer to the gods. People say that the water here at H Hitoshi Spring, or, yeah, Hitoshi, or Hitoshiho Spring has divine powers. We always mix it with the holy sake we use for the festival. That way we can make eight purification sake. So as to... You know what? No, let's just drop it. <laughs> Whoa, hold it right there, sister. Eight purification sake. You mean the sacred drink of ancient legend? Because we gotta justify taking it somehow. Okay, sorry, that one slipped out. That's right, it goes back to the legend of Nagi and Shiranui. It was the miraculous sake that they used to defeat Orochi. Apparently, got, they got the beast drunk and cut off its heads. That's so convenient, isn't it? It certainly smells strong enough to intoxicate anything. Gross. I don't know if the legend's really true or not, but we offer sake to the gods at festival time and pray for peace. Oh, what else do you need? By the way, I was wondering, you plan on filling this barrel with water? That's right, we need enough for all of the villagers, so I have to fill this barrel to the brim. But how are you going to fill such a big barrel with water? And even if you can, how are you going to carry it back to the village? Hem? That's a good point! <laughs> I hadn't thought of that because Susana usually takes care of it. He can handle the barrel as if it was as light as a feather. There's no way I can manage on my own, though. Yep, you still have more to say. How silly of me to not think this through. I wonder how I'm going to get the spring water into the barrel. Silly girl. Um, well, oh, ah, oh, ah, we get a special, like, actual, like, angle for it. I mean, I could figure that much out. That's odd. How did the water get into the barrel all by itself? Oh, I have to do it multiple times. That's weird. There you go. It's full, at least. It's something. Yay! I didn't even have to do anything! How wonderful! The barrel's full of spring water already! This will be plenty for the holy sake for the festival. Excellent! Now we just have to get it back to the village. A tank of water that big would weigh so damn much. Carry it home? But it must weigh a ton! And suddenly a guitar is being used as a boomerang! As you do! What is it? D do you want some of the spring water? Doesn't matter, why aren't we fighting it? Sorry, I'll be getting this barrel out of your way soon. Why did we just let that happen? The spring water was... Luck luckily enough, apparently, the spring water acted as a deterrent. But for some reason, we just stood and let her get attacked for no reason. Back, you beast! It is I, hairy-armed man! Here I am, just taking a walk, and look what I run into. Oh, it's you! Susano? Looks like we're gonna have to oh, do this again. Very well. Wow, this is really gonna bolster his ego to a place where I don't know if it's a good idea. Because eventually he's gonna get into a situation and we're not gonna be there to help. One more step towards the lady and I, it'll be your last. Wow, there are a lot of them. The, the great Susano, descendant of the hero Naki, forbids it. Do not despair, my fair Cushy. Susano is here to save the day. <laughs> Okay, kind of funny. Oh, this looks bad. I, I swing my sword in the name of love. Susano style sword of passion. Here I go. You. Leave. My. Cushy. You really shouldn't be labeling her as your own property. That's kind of messed up, but I guess we do. I guess we are in the past, but that's still not much of an excuse. Alone! Shabadoo! Oh, that time you didn't even swing. Huh? It's the barrel boy. Susano, watch out! Is it que? It's the burrowing boy! Hossang! 
And not once does he question how he's able to do this with a giant wooden sword. Hey, you did it, Pops. That was amazing. You looked kind of scared at first, but you pulled it off for the lady. And I guess we're just letting him have this. I don't really know why we keep secretly making his ego bigger. That's really strange. I, I don't understand why we're doing that. Oh, I ate his soon. Finally. <laughs> the long nightmare has ended. Susano, uh, thank you? I didn't expect to see such ferocious monsters here. Are you hurt? Well, I don't know why you wouldn't. They're literally everywhere. Susano? I knew it! I knew it all along. Strange things have been happening ever since then. First that boulder in Kamiki, then that battle with the bear, and now this. My sword is possessed by a strange power. You listen to me, O oh spirit who defiles my sword. I shall not be controlled like some puppet. By the gods, I shall expose your nefarious scheme. Ah. Blame the sword, apparently. Ha! Nerd. Gross! It's really what you deserve. The magnificent soon takes offense. Why, I oughta. Eh? Where's Susano? Where'd he go running off to? We may never know. He left without saying a word. Well, he said a lot of words, actually. He just didn't have any directed at you. What was he thinking? I mean, he just won the battle. Now it's time to win the damsel's art. At least he could have stuck around to help carry the barrel. Yeah, that would have been nice. It's okay. I think he's busy with other things. There's no need to bother him with this. I'm sure I can manage on my own from here anyway. That was a weird noise. The trees are macaking. That sounded like that Kokari kid. It did? Okay. Is he in trouble again? We better go check it out, Ami. I guess we better. Oh, and the canine tracker. It suddenly appeared. So that means, that's right, that dog that we saved from the, from the spider butt is in fact a super dog with a super butt. And, okay, question. Can I wet in the ground? Does that... No? Okay. Well, then I still have absolutely no idea how to make those weird gray spots go away. Darn unfortunate, that. But, alright, let's go see if we can help out that kid for the 50th time. How many life lessons does he need to be taught before he's useful to society? Too many as far as I'm aware. All right, I was actually able to jump from from a little island to a little island pretty consistently. I felt pretty good about that. Got her. He's just fishing. Guess he gave up looking for his dog. Wow, looks like you got a big one there, kid. With all that noise you were making, I was sure the monsters. That's a big fish. Oh, hey, that fish did eat your dog. I saw it. That's weird. How is that? How is that dog not dead? That dog should have drowned. Shoot, my line snapped. Curse you, whooper! I'm gonna catch you. You're gonna pay for what you did to Oom, Oom a, Oomami, Oomabu, Baba, Baba, Bing, Bomb. Hey kid, where that humongous fish come from? And where did you go? You disappeared into the ether. Wasn't that your dog in its mouth? That was the legendary fish whopper. I prefer whooper. They say it swallowed the moon reflected on the water's surface. Yes, you've told me countless times. So it really does live in these deep murky waters. Well, it's gonna pay for gobbling my dog. Sheesh, that dog sure gets eaten a lot, doesn't he? I don't have any fishing line left, but I'll snag that whopper yet. Or whooper. This shall be a battle to avenge my dog, even though he's clearly not dead, so I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. Yeah, I mean, this is getting more interesting by the minute. That dog or whatever it's called would be... Uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. That whooper or whatever it's called would be quite a catch. Let's stick around and see if we can help catch it. Yeah, let's do that. Now, that what, now that's what I want to hear. Let's get psyched up! <sighs> okay, that's as psyched as I'm gonna get. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> okay, Ami, you got the basic idea, right? Yep, draw a line. Yep, I know. I, I vaguely remember. I vaguely remember. I got a bite! Okay. So I gotta do. 
Just always have it be in the opposite area, like so. And eventually, the fish will... Yeah, there we go, it's a crab. And I have to kill, I have to murder the crab in order to help him be able to pull it in. Or, oh, that's a lobster. Or a crawfish. I mean, what is a crawfish but a lobster crab? It's basically what it is. That's not even the fish I wanted to grab, but okay. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Yep, there we go. Okay. I was wondering when it was actually going to change sides. It took a while there. Come on. Any day now. Any day now. Oh! That one's just a normal crab. I haven't known exactly crabs, lobsters, or crayfish to, you know... Yep. I, I, I've never known them to bite fishing lines. That, that's never seemed like an actual thing, but uh, so be it. There, okay. Oh, 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 we gotta do it multiple times, do we? Okay, I see how it is. All right, fine. That's weird, but fine. Get yourself cut, fish. Oh, yeah, there. You caught the whooper. Huzzah, you done it. You won Sega Bass Fishing. Bass Fishing. I just, I am having all sorts of word malfunctions today. I knew I could do it! I didn't actually, but whatever! I finally got him! Now spit out the dog. And here I was so worried about you, kid. You're one fine fisherman, even if we had to do literally all of the work. You should be proud of yourself. Keep on fishing and make sure to bring along plenty of line. I mean, he's pretty much already reached the apex, hasn't he? He he caught a fish that's literally considered legend. Or at the very least, myth. Or maybe that a myth would be more than a legend. Sort of, I don't know. How could I ever fish again? I mean, what about my dog? You, why do you think he's dead? Oh boy, the crybaby's back. Don't worry, after all you- Oh wait, no, never mind. We had literally no reason to th even consider the notion of that dog not surviving. Just... Uh, wait, did it die? Randomly? That makes no sense. It was alive half a second ago when it was in its mouth. It was already underwater for a really long time. So if it wasn't gonna drown then, why'd it drown now? The surface of Deep Abyss is as bright and shiny as a mirror. The moon's reflection sure looks beautiful. Mm. Where's the moon? How come I can only see its reflection? I don't know. Oh, well, guess I get the ability to get to summon the moon now. I was wondering if I was ever going to get that. Instead of I, I, I could make it daytime, but nighttime was always a bit of a troubled uh, development. All right, this appears to be a rabbit holding one of those, I don't know, maybe it's one of those mallets for for mochi. Oh, sorry, I forgot one. Or it could also be holding a kite, perhaps. We're about to find out what this rabbit is holding on to. Oh, the rabbit in, like, the moon. That's like an actual thing. That's like a legend. And yeah, that is a mochi mallet. But yeah, rabbit on the moon. No, oh, he's helping. That's a that's a that's a that's a legend. So crazy. I mean, I, I I it was referenced in Dragon Ball. So I mean, there you go. I don't try to crush me, you damn rabbit. I tried to help you make your weird ass food, and you this is how you thank me. I am the godmother of everything ever, apparently, or something. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all that I tried to crack open for some reason. Weird! After your departure, I hid myself within the moon's reflection. And then I hid the moon. And then you take the moon. And then you take the moon. And then you take the moon. Consumed by a fish, I patiently awaited the day in its belly. You hid in the moon's reflection, then. Not the moon itself. That's weird. Now that a glimmer of hope has returned, I have returned. I, Yumagami, god of the moon, cover the earth in pale moonlight. Use this light in conjunction with your own on your, on your perilous journey. 
You know, moonlight is just the sun reflecting off of the moon back down to Earth, right? So, all moonlight is just sunlight. The moon is just a giant rock in space that happens to be orbiting in very close proximity to the Earth. It's, it, it doesn't have any special powers or abilities. I'm just... I'm just throwing that out there. The god of moon power! So, Wooper really did swallow up the moon reflected on the water. Now you have the crescent brush technique! That one lets you draw a moon in the sky. It's said to have the power to turn day into night. I wonder if it really works. Could drawing a curved line in the sky really bring out the moon? I don't know. Could a circle in the sky really bring the sun out? Could a straight line really cut trees in half? Could a circle and a line through it summon a high explosive firework out of literally nowhere? How exactly is this any more outlandish than any of the things I've done so far? Please, explain to me soon. It seems like every time you, you, you decide to start talking, you just keep bringing up things that don't make any sense. The moon, the moon, it's come out! Now you have the power to turn day into night. Huh. Think of the nighttime pleasures that await. That sounds disturbing and gross coming from you. I know that sounds tempting, but first things first. We still have that matter Princess Fuse uh, asked us to deal with. Is it really a princess? I thought it was a priestess. Did I read it wrong? Ah. Also, your dog is fine. I don't know where the dog came from, but it's fine. Yeah. The last time you saw your dog, it was very much alive inside the fish's mouth. Why didn't you think to look inside the damn fish first? Fish don't have teeth. They don't chew. So anything swallowed by it would have at least a small amount of time inside its stomach that you could get it out. You okay, boy? I knew it would spit him out. That's why I told you not to worry. I mean, just look at him. He looks like one nasty training ca t Training? One nasty tasting canine. I'm bad at reading. Really? Yeah. Never seen an uglier looking dog in my life. What is your deal? Yeah, let's... Why, he just randomly insults people for... I say something wrong? You called the dog ugly! Are you brain dead, soon? I don't understand. Just trying to have a little fun like I do with Furball here. White Wolf. How did you come to bear the canine tracker? Mm. There's a familiar, familiar scent in the air. My former comrades. It emanates from your body. And despite the fact that you've saved my life twice, I don't give a damn, and now we have to fight. What the... Well, it's none of your business how we smell. It's just that we don't like taking baths, that's all. Hey, wait. Did you just say something about the canine tracker? Swift as the wind and sharp as attack, he soon is. The canine tracker decrees that its bearer shall prove his strength. I shall be the one to test it! You're aware that you're like... Wait, Jin? What the... You're one of the eight canine warriors? I mean, the cape and orb symbol thingy around its neck really should have been the dead giveaway at that point, but... <sighs> I guess I'm just going to have to learn to accept that soon is just really, really stupid. I, I guess. Never thought we'd be going up against you. I gotta say, I'm deeply unimpressed by what you've shown to be capable of so far, so I don't really have any worries going into this. Bring it on, Snaggletooth! Let's beat the ever-loving crap out of this and apparently frequently consumed dog. Oh, okay, hold up. Shim, sham, bada, bim, bam. Slap, slap, slap you back. Slip, slap, slap, bama, slap, attack. Whoop, top. Slap you around. Whoop. Then I cut you. Oh, I, you dug like a pitfall or something. Okay. Well, that's a strategy no other dog has create has done so far. There. Knock you out of the sky. Hey, knock that off. Oh. What the? Did you just pee on me? What the actual crap? And I actually hate this dog. Absolute jackass. What the crap? Sheesh. Straight up peed on me. You really do not have the authority or the right to do any of the incredibly rude things you've done. I know that the princess has summoned me, but and it is my duty to defeat the Crimson Helm. 
However, I don't wanna. So, whatever. But this child and his father saved me from certain death. Yeah, and I've saved you from certain death twice. I owe my life to them. What am I to do? Give me your power so I never have to look at you again. That's what. Sheesh! Well, I got the Justice Orb at least. What's this? The Power Orb has chosen you. It's almost as if I was completely and totally unworthy of ever having it in the first place. How about that? Even separate? Yeah, I'm already aware. I shall spend the rest of my years here under the guise of Ume. What? You're not going back to the princess? After all we went through? That's not even remotely surprising. Hoop towel. All right. Well, the good news is that's another one down. Only one more to go, and everything will be hunky dory. And this time, oh, this time, this next one. Uh, once I know the way out, I I didn't really want to get into a fight. <laughs> All right, I, I guess I don't get a choice in the matter. And, okay, for some reason none of my attacks actually hit there. That was weird. Die, fish! Before I am able to actually finish my thought. There. Give me all your little demon fangy things. There, okay. And the rest of my thought was, this time, I'm not gonna get confused, bewildered, or beguiled even once. Once I found out how to leave this place and go back to the place that I came from initially, which is up here. Yes, I now remember. I remember coming down from this from this area now. I it, it's all coming back to me. Now, I will be able to figure this all out and I'll get the last dog without any problems whatsoever and everyone will not make fun of me. It'll be awesome. I am frequently confused by things. Ah, <laughs> why am I so bad at this? Uh, what, was that bear always standing there? Yo, bear, were you always standing there? Wake up, bear. I want to talk to you. Yeah, isn't this that bear that was sleeping back in Hana Valley? Man, he's still sleeping? Let's call him Sleepy. Sure. Not exactly a creative name, but there you go. <laughs> Newly dubbed Sleepy. That's one happy bear. Seems he really likes spheres. Isun acorns aren't spheres. I mean, this one is bizarrely round, but traditionally they aren't. All right then. Oh, and the sun comes up. All right, fantastic. Let's just let's just go find that last dog. 